So I'm just going to go through the demonstration of this, and all it is. It's a 13 um, mil pipe with a grommet down the bottom with a T-piece. That's your inflow of your pump. Your pump is in the tank down below there, and it goes into there. So we don't want water coming out here flat tap, so we actually put a gate valve in here because then we can aerate the water too at the same time. So all we do is turn that up or down, whatever the flow rate we want here. This pump here goes 24 hours, so it doesn't shut off. It comes out here and drops back down into the uh, fish again. So it's pretty simple. Bacteria is very important. We sell it here, so you need a bacteria line in your grow bed and it's got to be up here. So that's what, you, when you put your plants in there, your bacteria, uh, your plants run on the bacteria of the fish poo. So we've got a kit here. So who's the volunteers? Yeah. And Rob can help you if you like. So Rob will just go through it, but I don't want Rob to do it for you. So if you look at this here, You've got the filter there, and you've got a plug hole here. So all that is, is that one. Okay. This one here has got a grommet. That goes into that hole. This is the pump. Um, Bob, you know what size that pump is? That's a 750 litre per hour pump. Okay, 750 is good enough to go around there. If you needed to build onto this system, you'd probably want to go a little bit bigger on the pump so you get more grow beds. You can see two things, three things. We put the, teep, the end on there and we've got a rubber grommet on the out inside. So that's that part. Now we'll move on to the next one. So the rub, rubber grommet goes inside. Because you've got the grommet going this way. So you've got to really put some force to push that in because we don't want no leaks. So if we push it down like that, okay. With this little setup here, in summer you're going to have a lot of trouble with pH fluctuating, yeah. you know, because it's only a small 250 litre of, of water, if it's that. You've got to watch pH, um, temperature of water. Um, ammonia, you get strikes because it's only a small amount of water, it will fluctuate a bit. Unless you get your um, grow bed going superbly good with earthworms, sea salt, and also some um, mineral dust. Okay? So to me, before I even put my fish in there, I'll be putting all my plants in there, getting my expanded clay in there making a bacteria line in there. Even if you wanted this wait for a couple of weeks, it'll probably make itself or buy some of that stuff. It will make it go real quick. And then when you've got that set up, put your plants in there, spray it with sea salt, do that for a couple more weeks, three weeks, do a test on your water, make sure everything's going, your plants are getting lushed, and then apply your, apply your fish to it. With bigger systems, I like a thousand litres. I don't like anything less than a thousand litres. I'll be honest with you. Um, because you've got more water and fluctuations is not so bad. And you can grow more grow beds. I've got 11 grow beds on a thousand litres at home. My, my fish are up to probably 200 now. And that thousand litres, I'm gone right overboard with it. Um, if you didn't have that and you, and you wanted to grow something like trout, um, you probably want to go to filtration in a big way. Because more fish you got, more filtration you've got to have. So we put the expanded clay in now. So what we're looking for a line here now is probably that much from the top. And when you do this, you probably see she put a 100 mil pipe in there. You put a little bit of expanded clay and you actually push it around it like that so that doesn't move 
You don't want that to move because all your expanded clay is going to get in there, get trapped. So you'll see that's the inlet pipe, that's the outlet. So we also got our pump. So all we do now is just put it onto that. If you want to go further with that and you've got a 1300 pump instead of 750, you could actually put one of these on and that will aerate the area because it's only a very small air area and um, that will make the fish a lot more happy again. So we're only doing a demonstration here, but I'm just going to show you the rate of water which I like seeing out of these things. I do not like anything on top stopping the water coming out and going back in. So I don't like foam, I don't like any of that sort of stuff. If you're going to have a filter, have a filter outside. So you see the rate there now, but it's really going flat out. So I'll, I want you all to have a look at that because that's really really bad when you've got fast rate water because all you're doing is washing your bacteria out. So my rate would be probably that, probably even smaller than that. That's all I need. See the rate there? It should be coming out both sides but I can't muck around with it. So you've just got to imagine that's where the water line is here. Um, Rob knows the word because I can't say the word. They're called a venturi. Venturi, okay. So what happens to that, if you put that on, you've got to imagine this is full of water, that will go into here. And if you go around some of the other uh, ponds around, you'll see them on there, and you'll see it creates very fine little bubbles, and that's oxygen. They love it, you know. So where your water, pH is very important for your plant, plant life. I don't know if everybody knows about pH or not, but my pH at home will sit between uh, 6.4 and it probably fluctuates to seven. Now I can't, I can't make it go up to 6.4 for my best plant life. So I've got to do it very slowly. Because if I went from six, uh, seven up to 6.4, straight away like that, I'll kill my fish. They don't like it, they hate it. So what we've got to do is just go gradually building it up. Um, also ammonia nitrates, they've got to be checked. And with a little system like that, it's 90 every day. And also another thing you need is somehow to vacuum that, that tank out. 